Welcome to the R video tutorial on confidence intervals on means in R. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to make confidence intervals on a single mean and on a mean difference or a before and after test. So paired data. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is read in some data. If you notice, I'm using the file.choose function. This allows me to pull any file that I need by looking in the directory tree instead of having to know specifically where the file is and its full path. The file I'm looking for exists on my desktop and it's called before and after. Okay, that read in my data. What I'm first going to do is create a histogram of my data because I'd like to just have some sense of what's in my data. All right, now I have a histogram of each of my data sets before and after and I can generally look at those to see that and the before the center is somewhere around 11 or 12 ish and on the after it's somewhere around 15 ish so that gives me a way to see whether or not they are different if I were interested in whether they're different and I'm interested in estimating the difference of before and after the change all right, so the first thing I might want to do is just do a simple confidence interval and the default confidence interval. And when I do this in R, I'm going to get a considerable amount of output. All right, so over here in the output, the first thing it shows me is the data, and it says it's before 1. So that is the before measurements. It gives me a T value, the degrees of freedom, and a P value, which I'm not interested in in this portion of the, this video because I'm interested in the confidence interval. I'm not interested in a hypothesis test. But if you look down here, you'll see a 95% confidence interval is 11.617 or 618 to 13.254. And that would form a confidence interval on the population mean, not on the sample mean. However, you do get a sample mean estimate off from this procedure as well. The sample mean is 12.436. All right. Another thing I might want to do is change my level of confidence. So here I've got two additional statements that are going to run a confidence interval for the after variable. And I have a confidence level of 99% and a confidence level of 97% in the second statement. All right, and here I have it. Uh, in the upper one, you can see that the confidence interval is 13.70 to 16.27. In the lower one, it's 13.93 to 16.04. Now, these are two different confidence intervals because I'm using different confidence levels. So the confidence intervals are going to be different because I chose a different confidence level. Another thing that I might want to do is be able to create a confidence interval in a before and after test where I'm actually creating a confidence interval on the change in the value. So often you run a before and after study. You measure them before some treatment. Then you measure them after some treatment. And this is how you would do this in R. You can use before and after are my measurements. And there's a statement that you can put in here called paired. Paired tells me that the data is paired up. So each row that it sees, so the first measurement of before and the first measurement of after, should be paired together. And then the next one is confidence level, and I've chose 98%. All right, so this generates my paired confidence interval. This is a mean of the differences, and it tells you down at the bottom it's the mean of the differences. And I have a confidence interval of negative 3.82 to negative 1.28, let's say. All right, so this has been the video tutorial on how to work with confidence intervals on means in R. If you have any questions, please ask or watch the next video.